Welcome to the series on countries profiting from Africans killing themselves, which includes Africa, uh, arming Africans to kill themselves. I would like to emphasize that I'm not blaming our Western countries who are building their economies from the bloodshed of Africans through providing arms to Africans to kill themselves. It is us Africans who have made our fellow Africans' lives worthless to be traded for Western development. Now let's get to the issue. According to reports from the United Kingdom's Guardian newspaper, Save the Children Australia has found out that Australia sold weapons to Mali as the United Nations warned that violence is creating humanitarian disaster in the country. According to Save the Children Australia, Australia gave 31 permits last year to export arms to clusters of African nations suffering from instability and violence. Save the Children Australia has called out its own country Australia for approving the sale of arms to African countries besieged by conflict for decades. Now, I am proud of Save the Children Australia. This is what we expect an international non-governmental organization, organization to do which is addressing the root causes of a crisis. Many non-governmental organizations are so focused on fundraising that they are scared to challenge potential countries who might be donors. Well done, Save Australia. Thank you for doing this. Oh, sorry, I digressed. Now, let me get back to the matter. The Australian government approved a large volume of weapon sales to war Mali in the same year that the United Nations warned one that escalating violence was creating an unprecedented humanitarian disaster in the West African nation. Internal records released to The Guardian through freedom of information law revealed that Australian weapons companies were given 31 permits last year in 2019 to export weapons and military technology to a cluster of African nations suffering from instability and violence. These countries included Libya, Sudan, Somalia, Mali, the Central African Republic, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Most exports, though, went to Mali, which has been gripped by near-perpetual internal conflict for eight years. The Australian government issued 16 permits for weapons export to Mali in 2019 alone. And this is the same year that the United Nations issued dire warnings that escalating violence was creating an unprecedented catastrophe for civilians. The number of Malian civilians requiring protection and assistance jumped from 700,000 to 3.9 million people in 2019. The war also caused the, the number of internally displaced civilians to grow for, from 80,000 to nearly 200,000 in 2019. And about half of those displaced were women and children. In February, the U United Nations Independent Human Rights Expert on Mali warned that the multiple failures of the Mali state in administration, justice, and security was facilitating mass violence with impunity in central Mali. Civilians were being attacked by criminal organizations, terrorist groups, and armed militia who were operating without retribution in the region. The current violence is increasingly difficult to control and could become a major threat to the entire sub-region, said the UN Human Rights Representative. Now, Australia defends its export by arguing that every license application is thoroughly assessed to ensure the end user will not breach human rights or other international obligations. Wow! <laughs> so the Australian government is saying that the death of civilians Mostly women and children is not a human rights violation. Please, these are the end receivers of the arms export to Mali. These are the end receivers of arms export to Africa. Yes, the representative of Save the Children in Australia is right that we cannot let vested interests and profits take precedence over the lives of children. The United Nations have come under criticism in recent years for being ineffective in ceasefire negotiation and peacekeeping efforts. But we cannot expect the United Nations to perform its role effectively when member states of the United Nations intentionally contravene the very action they've signed on to support. 
Australia cannot sell arms to Africa to support the killing of Africans and the displacement of our people and then provide humanitarian funding to the continent. So what this means is that Australia makes billions, billions of dollars in arms sales that leads to humanitarian crisis and then donate a couple of millions for humanitarian assistance to whitewash its role in the conflict. <laughs> Whoa.